Hello everyone, welcome to Soho Sheet's webinar. This is Jaya Shankreet, product marketer for Soho Sheet, and I'll be the host for today's session. So in this webinar, we'll be looking at ways in which you can work together online inside your spreadsheets and how Zoho Sheet can help you do the same. So let's get started. So this is the agenda for today's webinar. First, we'll look into a brief introduction about Zoho Sheet, the product itself. Then we'll jump into the topic for today's session, that is live collaboration and its advantages. And then we'll see what features Zoho Sheet provides in terms of collaboration. And finally, we'll have a product demonstration where I'll be showing you how these features work inside Zoho Sheet. So why Zoho Sheet? For those of you who are not familiar with Zoho Sheet, it is an online spreadsheet application that provides you with a perfect blend of analytical features such as functions, charts, pivot tables, etc. and collaboration features such as sharing, real-time editing, commenting, etc. And all these basic and advanced features are provided for free of cost without any restrictions. And in Zoho Sheet, all your files will be saved on the cloud, which means you can work from anywhere using any hardware device without being restricted to one particular hardware device. And Zoho Sheet is also available for Android and iOS applications so you can work on the go using your smartphones. So coming to the topic for today's session, why collaborate online? Collaborating online in real time has many advantages and here are some. So first, when you work offline, you'll be creating multiple copies of the same file, thus creating a lot of confusion. But when you collaborate with your team online, you can avoid multiple copies of a file and thus avoid confusion. Also, when you have your team collaborating and working simultaneously, you save a lot of time and eventually your team's efficiency increases. Another major advantage of collaborating online is that you can work from anywhere. This does not require a physical office environment for the team to work together. So no matter where your team is located, you can collaborate anytime. And finally, you can also keep track of what exactly happens inside your file, thus having control over your data. So these are the features that are provided by Soho Sheet in terms of collaboration. We'll be looking at all of these features during the demonstration. Firstly, you can share your files with user-specific permissions, so you can decide who can edit your file and who cannot. Secondly, you can view changes that are made by your collaborators in real time as and when they are made. And then we have contextual commenting where you can make comments for certain cells or ranges. And also you can hold group discussions inside the spreadsheet itself. Also, you can protect certain parts of your data while working with your team by protecting them using log cells. And also you can review the changes made by your team and even revert back to the older versions if required. So let's jump into the demonstration and see how these features work inside the whole sheet. So this is the spreadsheet I'll be using for the demonstration. So this spreadsheet is about a team working together for an event. So here you can see that the first sheet has a task, a to-do list, and second sheet has a budget report, and the third sheet has a schedule. So in this task list, you can see that there are four sections having various uh, tasks to be performed and you can also see the names of those colleagues that are supposed to take care of these tasks. So the first step for collaborating online is that you'll have to make sure you have shared your file with all the necessary team members. So now I'm going to share this file with Carla. For that, you can find the share option here on the top right corner of the spreadsheet editor. So once you click on share here, that will open up the share dialog for you. You can see a drop down here near visibility. So once you click on that drop down, it will give you four different ways in which you can share your file. So the first one is collaborators only. If your team has a lesser member count, you can go with this option where you can share this file using individual email IDs of your team members or other collaborators. Secondly, if you have a larger team or if you want to share the spreadsheet across your organization, you can go with this option. So this, op this will generate a link for you using which you can share this spreadsheet with anyone in your organization. So here you can see it is mentioning everyone in Zilka. So Zilka is the organization. And thirdly, you can share this spreadsheet 
publicly with a link and a password protection. So only those with the link and the password can access this file and the others cannot. So this way your file will stay protected and you can also share it with a wider audience. And finally you can share it and finally you can share it with a public link so everyone who has this link can access your file even if they are not a part of your organization. So now that I'm going to share this file with only one member, I'm just going with the collaborators only option. So now I'm going to start typing in Carla's email ID. So as I start typing in Carla's email ID, you can see that I get a contextual list of suggestions. So it makes it easier for me to pick the email ID or the person I'm looking for. So I need not even remember the whole email ID. So that's the person I'm looking for, that is Carla Reynolds. So I'm just going to select it. On the right side, you can see there's another dropdown which has the list of permissions you can set. So as I had mentioned before, you can set user specific permissions while sharing your sheet. So you can decide who can have the access to edit your file and who cannot. So the first permission here is read only. That means the collaborator can only view your file and not make any changes. The second one is read and comment. So the collaborator can view and make a comment on your file, but they cannot make any changes in it. The third one is read and write. So as the name indicates, the collaborator can view and make changes to your file. And finally, the co-owner permission lets the collaborator to view, make changes and share your file with others. So now I just want Carla to view and make changes to the file. So I'll go with read and write permission. So below the email field here, you can view there's another option called notify through email. This option is checked by default. So every time you share this file with a collaborator, they'll get notified through an email telling them that you've shared this file with them. You can even choose to uncheck it if you do not want the collaborator to receive an email. And you can also add a note to this email telling the collaborator why you're sharing this file with them to add more context. So I'm just going to click on share now. And there we go. So now that I've shared the file with Carla, let's look at how a real time editing will happen inside the whole sheet. So for that, I'm going to go to a new window. So in this screen, you can see that I've opened the same spreadsheet with two different accounts. On the left side is Carla's account and on the right is Mick's account. So now we'll see how collaboration happens inside the whole sheet. So once Carla has opened the file here at the bottom, on the right side, you can see that at the bottom here, the profile picture appears here, indicating that that particular collaborator is currently active inside your file. So once I click on that, it'll open up a panel giving me the list of all collaborators in my file and also giving me information about who are active currently inside the file. So now Carla has opened the file and is active inside the file. So here you can see that there's another user presence indicated with a blue color and on hover it gives me the name of the collaborator that is Carla. So this way you can see and know where your collaborators are currently inside your file and what they're exactly doing. So now on, I'm just going to uh, the left side that is Carla's account and I'm going to start typing in a cell. So you can see that on the left side I've started editing a cell from Carla's account and on the right you can see that the user presence changed into a different indication with filled color. So this indicates that the collaborator is currently making changes in that particular cell or range. So this way you can avoid clashes while working together inside the spreadsheet. So once that is done, the indication changes. So now that we have seen how real-time editing works inside Soho Sheet, let's go forward and add a comment. So we are back to Mix account here. To add a comment, you can either use the option here on the side panel or you can just go to the desired cell, right click and choose the option called add comment. So that will open up the comments panel for you. And here you can see that this particular comment is specific to the cell I've chosen. So it adds more focus and avoids confusion while you're adding a comment. Also, when you're adding a comment, you can at mention the colleague here. 
So you can see that I'm at mentioning Carla and it gives me a suggestion too that makes it easier for me to uh, choose the collaborator. So when you at mention someone, they will receive an email telling them that you have at mentioned them in a comment. So they'll know that this comment is pointed at them and it avoids confusion with the other team members too. So now I'm just going to add the comment here and click on add. So now I've added a comment for Carla to look at. Now what if Carla is not having a laptop at hand? What if she's on the field? Or what if she's traveling somewhere? What can she do? So as I previously mentioned, Zoho Sheet is also available for mobile devices and your team can collaborate in real time and make comments using the mobile applications too. So let's see how that can be done. You can see that I've opened the same spreadsheet using Zoho Sheets mobile application. And this is from Carla's account. I'm going to post a reply for mixed comment. So for that, I will go to insert comment and there you can see the comment we just made from mix account. So I'll click on reply, type in what I want, type in my reply and post it. No matter where your team member is, they can even collaborate online using their smartphone. So now let's go back to Mix account and continue with the other features. So now that Carla has replied to the comment here, so you can see the reply here in the comments panel. So once this comment is complete or this task is complete, you can choose to resolve this comment thread, thus uncluttering your comment panel. And you can also reopen this comment thread anytime you want. So this is how contextual comments work. Now at the same time, you can also hold group discussions inside the spreadsheet. So how do you do that? You can see an option here called chat. So once you click on that, that will open up the group chat panel for you, where you can hold discussions with your team in real time inside the spreadsheet. So far, we saw how Zoho Sheet helps you collaborate with your team in real time. Now let's see how you can control this collaboration and keep track of what happens inside your file. Now let's say you're working on something very important and you want a little privacy. So if you wish to turn off collaboration for a few minutes, you can do that too. So for that, you can go to the share drop down here on the top right corner of your editor. So here you can find an option called check out. Check out means you're turning off or pausing live collaboration for a certain period of time. So, so once you check out a file, the collaborators cannot view real-time changes and cannot make any changes to the file too. So you have complete privacy until you check in back to the file. This way you can have control over when you want live collaboration and when you do not. Now what if you want to protect a certain part of your data? Now let's say, so this is the budget report for the event. And here you can see there are a lot of numbers mentioned. So let's say I do not want my collaborators to make any changes to these numbers or the cost. So for that, I can lock this cell range for the collaborators so I can be assured that they cannot make any changes to this particular range. So to lock a range, all you have to do is select the particular range and go to data, lock and lock cells. So that will open up a dialogue with the list of all my collaborators in the specific file. So lock in Zoho Sheet is user specific, so you can choose to lock the range for certain collaborators and keep it unlocked for the rest too. So now I'm just going to lock this range for all the collaborators except myself. So you can see that I locked it individually for the collaborators. So once that's done, I'll click on save. So now that I've locked the range for all my collaborators, including Carla, let's see how the same range looks from Carla's account. So this is how it looks for Carla. So you can see that there's a pattern which indicates that this range is locked for Carla. So even if I try to make any changes, you can see that I'm not able to edit the cell, but it only jumps to the next one. So, th so this particular range will remain uneditable for Carla until Mick chooses to unlock it. So this way you can be assured that your data stays protected and under your control even while you're collaborating with your team. Now what if an unexpected change occurs in your file? All you have to do is go to File, click on Audit Trail 
and Zoho Sheet will give you the complete list of all the tiny changes that have happened so far inside your file. So here you can see the changes done by all the collaborators inside the file. You can even choose to filter this view based on the collaborators in your file, the date when the changes occurred, the specific worksheets in your spreadsheet, or even a particular cell range. So, so this way you can keep track of what changes have happened inside your file, who has done that particular change and when it happened. So now that I know who has done the change and when it has happened, what if I want to see the older version of the file? For that, go to File, click on View Version History, and you can see that on the right side, the Version History panel opens up with a list of all the older versions of your file. Zoho Sheet takes automatic backups of your file, so you can refer and go back to the older versions anytime you want. So once you click on the older versions here from the panel, on the left side, you can see the preview of that particular version. So you can see that on the left side, for this particular version, the table color is different from that of the current version. Also, on the top, you can see there are certain options provided. So mark this version allows you to name a specific version, so you can find it later on. You can also revert back to an older version. You can delete it. You can save it as a new spreadsheet or even export it. You can view the macros in the version or even the change log specific to the version. So that's all about collaboration in Zoho Sheet. In this webinar, we saw how Zoho Sheet helps you collaborate in real time with your team and also keep control over your data while doing the same. If you have any questions or feedback about this webinar or the features or Zoho Sheet in general, you can drop them as comments below or drop us an email at support at zohosheet.com and we'll be happy to help. Thank you for joining this webinar. Hope you found it helpful. Thank you.